how you are doing? This is Manny Fernandez with uh, Biblical Science. Uh, the topic of this discussion is the uh, Word of Faith movement, where it came from, and who are its uh, followers, who started it. Uh, Word of Faith movement, uh, I'll tell you who's in it. Uh, Old Joe Osteen, Myers, you know, all the usual suspects. I don't know if it's Copeland, but I know Benny Hinn's there. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Word of Faith movement, Word Word of Faith movement, and these uh, false prophets, or the sign of the end of time. By the way, how they more here than ever before, and still relevant. They are, they are in just about every channel. It's like three channels. They are on there. They they are more accessible than anything you can imagine so I feel like it's important to talk about this because it's a serial problem because they're dragging a lot of people to hell with them. so we're going to talk about the word of faith movement it's uh, it, it was started by a CW Kenyon Kean I believe and he was uh, in from Boston Massachusetts I think he was the founder of the uh, new thought transcendentalism you know the power of positivity will which is all sinners of the devil. There is no, especially on your saved, there is no will. Even when you're saved, yes, you have free will, but you still have to yield that will to the the Holy Ghost. But they, they don't preach that. They preach uh, positivity. You know, don't they preach no prayer. This is just, I'm not talking about New Age movement. Don't confuse this with New Age, emerging church, and charismatic movement, but basically all the same. This is word of faith movement. I don't, I don't think I've, uh, uh, we anyone talks about this to that degree. Like I said, I'm going to choose topics that I don't feel is addressed as much. This is the Word of Faith movement. Like I said, you can look it up. It's uh, founded by C.W. Kenyon, and uh, one of his primary disciples was Kenneth Hagin. I believe his son's preaching now. So I'm on on the guide, my TV guide, you know, on on screen there that he's preaching now. It's uh, it's really unbelievable the heresy. The I don't think you guys know. This goes for believers and believers. The the heresy these guys are spewing out. When you're followers of Christ, you you like I said, you think like Christ. You think what you say. You you uh you get offended as if you get offended. You know when things really will boil you and uh that will really fry you and really enrage you and this is one of them so that's why I feel I really need to talk about this the heresy they spew this is the heresy they spew it's not it's not convoluted I'm not rearranging it I'm this is word for word what they believe this again this is word of faith movement I think people associated with them uh, Kenneth Hagen Osteen Hinn I don't know if it's Copeland, but I wouldn't be surprised. This is a specific group. I'm talking about specific, you know, I don't know what you want to call faction or or, or discipline. Uh, they believe in four doctrines, and I'll go one by one, and I'll tell you who's, who's behind each one. I've talked about this before. I'm just going to be talking about these guys in more detail. Creflo Dollar. No, Creflo Dollar, I mean, I don't know. Out of all the guys, I don't know why uh, people follow this. It just shows how uh, ignorance is a symptom of depravity. I'm not telling you how you're totally depraved, saved or not saved. The difference is, saved people knows how depraved they are. Cause like I said, the closer you get to Christ, or the the closer you see how sinful and how unworthy you are in your salvation. Or, or unsaved people don't have that problem. Okay, they ignorantly. Uh, the Bible talks about the scoffers, how they willfully ignorant. And, and, and they refuse to retain God in their knowledge. Uh, I don't know how this is proof uh, how why people follow this guy, Crystal Dollar. Sounds like a rapper. $64 million jet, by the way. All these guys are uh, paid. Uh, he has the doctrine that we're gods. He's polytheistic. As I told you before, uh, can be 2016. I don't care what year it is. Where it's the same as it is, as in Babylonian times. Babylonians were pagan. We're pagan. They were polytheistic. We're polytheistic. Hedonism. 
everything, the whole nine yards. Just repackage the Devils and Master, repackaging it, contemporizing it modern, but same old stuff. Same old doctrine. He has a uh, he is the doctrine that we're gods because he makes, uh, of course, the evolution argument. Well, so he's going to use. He's going to use, well, actually, he doesn't use the evolution argument. He uses a biblical argument. Remember, I told you they're going to, they're about 99% truth and 1% fi uh, uh, fiction. The fiction is what kills you. I told you, rat poison is 99% food. What kills the rat is that 1%. Look up the ingredients of arsenic, rat poison. So uh, yeah, he uses the uh, he uses biblical doctrine and he twists the word, word. Like I said, the devil's a corrupt of the word. word. He uses the doctrine uh, when it says, "Come, let us make man in our image." He's God was referring to himself because remember, God is three people, three entities, whatever you want to call it, beings, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But what this? How does Christopher Dollar see that? Oh no, it's. Uh, it's uh, many gods. See, there is not one god. Well, it is God. Just he displays himself in three separate but equal. Separate as in rank, but equal in status. A lot of people like to use that doctrine. See, what, what are you talking about? Christians are polytheists. They just like us. They they believe in three gods. They're talking about God as in separate. Like God the Father is not either God, but he's his own separate God. Jesus God, Jesus is God, he's his own separate God, like the Mormons think. They believe Jesus is, and the devil are brothers. Jesus is just a God, not the God. God the Father is a God, not the God. So they use that uh, biblical, biblical doctrine as a premise to say, we real Christians are polytheistic. They attack, you have to forget, they attack us as much as they evangelize people to the devil. Because they feel they do one, they do the other. Uh, he also uses uh, the biblical doctrine about how, which which he doesn't know he's uh, he's uh, making a bad case for evolution. You think he would be pro-evolution, but hey, if I can get to people to hell, I don't care if I prove evolution wrong. But he proves in his sermon evolution wrong when he says, uh, "I'm sorry, evolution." Remember, uh, if you're evolutionist, you be to believe a bird can become a cat, cat become a bird. Uh, you don't believe animals can uh, they evolve because they turn into other species when scientifically that's not true. The Bible says cows beget cows. That's scientific. Okay, dogs beget dogs of their own kind. That's a scientific. That's not just biblical and scientific. It's both. It's biblical science. So he uses that, and right there he doesn't he doesn't know that he's basically blowing evolution out of the water. Because evolution says, you know, dinosaurs come from, I don't know, it's just so ridiculous. Uh, dinosaurs come from birds, birds from dinosaurs. Uh, but no, he agrees with at least that part of biblical doctrine. He says that, but it's the way he uses it. Okay, if animals, you know, beget this, well, God made man in his own image, so he beget a God. So you are a God. That's what he says, not me. There's a video on that. Uh, just look up church apostasy, modern church movement, it's all over the place. That's what he says, words out of his own mouth. Okay? He believes all we are all, we are all God, so he's a polythe polytheistic, which were the Romans are. I told you Romans were Romans were polytheism. Mars, Venus, Pluto, Jupiter, those are all Roman gods. The month, March, Mars, Roman gods. Janus, January, Roman gods. Polytheistic society, he's a polytheistic preacher. Uh, so the water faith movement, that's one of the doctrines. Your God, Joel Osteen, of course, thinks he's a God. He uses the thinks the name of the ministry ministries called I Am. So he's he's tributing he's God because God says I am to Moses. Uh, to all you rappers there, I mean I used to heavily listened to rap, used to analyze and Nas came out with an album called I Am. I Am is everywhere. All Age of Ultron, uh, when Vision, uh, that satanic demon in that movie said, uh, uh, I'm not with Ultron, I'm not with this guy. I'm, I just say I am. Don't believe me, watch that movie again, Age of Ultron. Pay attention this time, watch it critically like I told you in previous videos to watch movies. And if you watch it like that, it's okay. If you're gonna watch it like a zombie and absorb subconsciously all that 
garbage and filth. No, I told you your brain is like a computer. If you're not consciously aware what you're seeing, critically, you will absorb it and it will reprogram your mind. That's a fact. So, yeah, uh, next is uh, Joel Steen. His ministry is I am. I mean, uh, forget what he's saying. Uh, his, uh, uh, first of all, these. These churches are massive. There's more people here than football games, you know that? I don't know how many people are in these churches. Big churches, probably 40, 50,000 people. Well, Joe Osteen doesn't even you know, op need to open his mouth. I mean, I see by his ministry saying I am. Who, who is he down with? He's uh, down with the devil. He has a big earth globe in the back. Anything you see of globe, global unity, sign of the earth, get out of there. That's New Age movement flags everywhere new age movement unity remember new age is all about it we come together it's really ushering the antichrist uh people there's people going around and say you believe antichrist is a man well, of course i believe in the bible it says this is the beast of a man but i also believe it's a system i believe the antichrist is a man and a system we're in the the stages of rolling out the red carpet for the antichrist these prosperity preachers these false prophets are preparing you for the antichrist They'll be the first in line to take the beast. Why not? They want to live prosperous. They believe their good life is here. No. A Bible believer knows this is his worst life. His, his best life is yet to come. That's when it starts when he dies. Like I said, life begins after your death, this physical death. But no, Joel Osteen, the good life is right now. You need to prosper right now. He says, I am. I am God. He prays to Jesus in Jesus' name. I mean, you pray for the for the Father in Jesus' name, and He said once. I mean, I when I say this, I, I don't hear from someone else. I watch these guys. I gotta watch these guys. I know how to talk about them. By He fruits, He shall know them. I'm knowing them by their fruits. He says, out of His own mouth, uh, yeah, say this prayer, Jesus' name, come come quickly, something like that. And I believe, and He said this. I believe by that prayer you are saved. So He believes in uh, one, two, three. Believe on me, you know, believingism. You know, sinner's prayer, and you just cut off the Father. You just pray to Jesus in Jesus' name. You don't do that. You don't pray to the Father in the Father's name. You pray to pray to the Father in Jesus' name. So he's already teaching how not how to pray. You have uh, the the third doctrine is uh, positive confession. You don't need no prayer. Don't pray. You just will it. I know you hear. He has a book. You know, the better you. All those books better you. There's, there was nothing but humanistic, you are God, alchemy uh, books. Alchemy is making man God. Like Michael Tassarian said, he was a student of Madame Blavatsky. He said, uh, God, uh, God needs man to, God needs a man. Man needs God to save him. He says, why can't man become God to save himself? Which is total blasphemy. That's what alchemy is. If you ever heard of that word thrown around, it's making yourself God. Don't let no one fool you. Like I said, I listened to all these guys heavily when I was in saved. Michael Sarah, all of them. They are Madame Blavatsky disciples, which she was a Jesuit, by the way. So, uh, and her symbol in her book is the Nazi symbol. I don't know if you guys knew that. She has a swastika. Well, I don't know what you want to call it, but that, whatever that symbol is, that was on the Theosophy on her book. Hitler had a, one of her books, The Secret Doctor. He used to read it every night before bed. But again, true history doesn't want you to know that. True history. Uh, revisionist history wants you to know that. But true history, uh, that's true history. He was uh, also, Hitler was also heavily, heavily influenced by Madame Blavatsky. Alice Bailey was a direct disciple of Madame Blavatsky, Tia, Tia Sophis. She wrote the magazine Lucius Trust, Lucifer Trust. You know how they got her. Like I said, the devil likes to cut things off, omit it. No, it's not Lucifer, trust it's Lucius, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so yeah, these uh, false prophets, they're the first to accept the mark of the beast, and they're the first to, they're there to make you want to accept the mark of the beast because uh, it's, it's everything's through your will, you're your own God, you have a free will. See, the thing with free will is, I think you have a free will, you're unsafe, because uh, it's just not as strong. Because you have to have some will to 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 accept Christ, unless He chose you. But 
uh, we have the ability, remember the law is written on our hearts and testament to want to go to God. We are born, whether we like it or not, we just it's been suppressed by the devil when a nature then to know morality conscious. That's that's a fact, scientifically proven. No baby comes out of the mother's when we want to kill everybody. Nelson Mandela said he's another guy that you don't think he is. I'll, I'll talk about all these guys in history you think you know who they are, you do not know. He's, a, he's burning hell, but he, it's edification. He has a good quote. He said, babies, we, we have to be taught hate. Love comes natural. Absolutely true. Hate has to be taught. It's not natural. Okay? When a baby comes out, it, it plays with all the babies. It does not differentiate with color. It's nice. I can't, when you ever heard of a demon baby, a newborn baby? Okay, we are more we are born morally sound. So we do have some sort of free will. It's just when you're saved you really have a free will. You can really choose now. Sin is not your master crisis if you yield to him. But these guys uh don't see it that way. It's it's our will completely, positive will. Okay, you can do it. Hitler used to preach that to his soldiers. He believed in the occult. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. That's all you being God. It's the Father's will. It's all about the Father's will. It's all about God's will. You want teaching this willpower crap, junk, positivity. I used to got sucked into that uh, until I knew what it was. That was ignorance right there. Mindfulness, garbage, law of attraction. If that's not of God, it's the, of the devil. It's one or the other. Uh... So yeah, they preach the uh, they are gods to his uh, positive will. They don't, they don't believe in prayer. Don't pray. Where I mean, if you don't have, I'm not saying strong, but a decent prayer life. I mean, prayer prayer is important. Most people just waltz out about prayer and don't even talk about it. I'm talking about seriously, effectual, fervent prayer. Talk to God like I'm talking to you. Don't talk to God like I used to do with these our fathers every day, which is a sin to repeat prayer. The heathen repeats prayer. That's what Catholics like to do. Six Hail Marys, six Our Fathers. Yeah, it, it's you say it once in a while. I mean, but I used to say it every night as a prayer. No, I don't think God wants to be that. He just want to be talked to like a machine every day, like a program. You talk to him like I talk to you. Say, Father, I want this. If you're a really true Christian, you should know what you, what to ask for the prayer. See, the Holy Ghost is your intercessor. Your, your Holy Ghost tells you what to pray to the Father. Meaning. Holy Ghost is, is 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 your guide on everything, especially prayer, especially prayer. He tells you what to ask the Father. I used to ask Father for outwardly things, which is okay, job and everything, but now I'm asking her for, for the spiritual uh, meekness, Father. I need patience. Things I would not ask for him uh, long ago because when you're first saved, you're still kind of in the temporal, physical realm. Which I proved there was no physical, but you ask for the outwardly things. I want a car. I want this. All that, which is, which is fine. It's all that, but uh, you should be praying for first of all, you know, as a brethren. That's that's a given. That that's a given. There's people yeah, they do these ministries to their brethren and evangelize to their brethren. Do they pray for their brethren? Not in front in front of them. Like I'm talking about when they go to sleep at night when no one's watching. They pray for the river fervently. That, I always do that. I call them my name when I can, but if not, I say brethren. That should be uh, in your prayer every every time. Brethren, pray for the brethren. Love the brotherhood. That's, that's biblical. Love the body of Christ. They are your eternal family. They will be with you forever and ever. So if you use the Holy Ghost, it's your intercessory. He tells the Holy Ghost tells you what to tell the Father. I say he tells you, he doesn't force you, he doesn't say it on himself. You still got to do it. Prayer is effort. Sometimes prayer is effort. Now, I don't uh, agree with people that say I pray for two, three hours, four hours, 30 minutes. I, I don't. You you are leaning towards prayer there. I pray for two hours. I pay for three hours. I pray for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's from the heart. That's all that matters. Okay, I used to pray for an hour. It wasn't on the heart. It was recited. That's how I used to pray. I used to recite the gospel, recite the Our Father in Matthew, take care of my family. That's it, like a robot. 
that sometimes it takes 30 minutes, sometimes it takes an hour. No, he's not listening to that. If you're in sin, he's not listening to prayer, first of all. Not saved, he's definitely not listening to it. And if it's not what is what, all those could, you can do everything right. You have to forget. You're on God's timetable. That's what people forget. If it's not his will to give you what you want, you're not getting what you want. Be patient. Remember, patience is the fruit of the spirit. So, um, anyways, uh, they preach, uh, for, you know, they are God's positive will. Confession, you know, just confess the Lord. You'll be saved. Just outwardly saying it. Uh, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They, that's basically what they're preaching. No prayer, uh, prosperity, health, and wealth. Like I said before, anything in front of the gospel, the prosperity gospel, anything before gospel, satanic, prosperity gospel, health, and wealth gospel, that for, for people don't know is basically saying, this is your life. Okay, The earth is your final stop. The earth is your, your heaven. The good life starts now. And if you are God, gods don't get sick, and gods are not poor. Jesus Christ, remember, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Don't you think if you're God, you get, you're supposed to have? What's wrong with that? Lots of money and health. You're God, you cannot get sick. Yeah, they preach not getting sick. You're a God, you're not supposed to get sick. Well, the thing with sickness and mental illness, if much people were saved as they could be there would be no hospitals and there would be no psychiatry psychiatry is first of all what is psychology it's, if you are not it's a study of the soul which they know nothing about psychology is all about well this fits right in with this because this is all religion this is all uh, false science psychology is a study of the soul which they do not it's it's like you go to a psychologist and say I have uh, paranoid schizophrenia you have a demon, but they don't want you to know that, so they suppress the symptoms. Psychology, doctors, it's all about medical, pharmaceutical. It's about suppressing the symptoms of your sin. When they should really cure in the sin, you only can cure, uh, a sin can manifest uh, physically, uh, gluttony manifests diabetes, adultery manifests STDs. I think every disease you have is sin, period. Your body's in dis-ease, it's not in ease no more, it's in dis-ease. Every every sin is a disease. You, you feel sick. You feel um, it's disease or chastisement. God can chastise you and make you sick. Even sin unto death. That's for believers, by the way. Uh, but yeah, uh, if sin. Remember, sin is death. Okay, what kills you? Disease, mental illness. There's no need for hospitals. I've never gone to a hospital. Praise God for ten years. Plus, encountered, haven't taken no medicine. So, I know every illness I have, see the chastisement, which you're supposed to welcome. I, I hear people saying, No, I don't like chastisement. And the Bible says you're supposed to love chastisement because God only chastens his children, not his, uh, not spiritual bastards, those of the devil. So I used to dislike it, but I'm not saying, Hey, hey I really love chastisement. You just accept it, you take it like a man. But yeah, all these, uh, ph pharmacia. Let's talk about pharmaceutical. Maybe I keep talking about words, etymology. Pharmacia means sorcery. It's Greek. These doctors are nothing but witch doctors. You should not be, if you're saved, you, this is the only reason I think you should go to the doctor. And you don't even know, need to go for these reasons because they have they have birthing kits where you can, your, your wife can give birth right in your home. You know, they got kits now. But giving birth, that's really it. Or if you have a, Cat, car accident. I mean, you use some common sense, like I said. Common sense, you have Holy Ghost, you have common sense. If you don't, you use it sparingly, off and on. But other than that, no. I haven't taken medicine. Um, I take this stuff called apple cider vinegar. I recommend everyone to get. It cures my heartburn. I use it to brush my teeth with. Remember, I told you I don't use fluoride toothpaste. That's a gift from God. Okay? That's, again, that's not knowledge I know about. That's from God. Because God moved us suffering from heartburn. There you go. God's God's plants heals you. That's why the devil wants to demonize marijuana. And you know, marijuana, what it really does that now it, it was is it smoking marijuana is a sin? Well, what if I take it for medicinal purposes? Again, it's how you use it. Just people take it for medicinal purposes. Cataracts, kills depression, makes you want to eat, 
cures, uh, suppresses cancer. If you boil it, cannabis oil cures cancer. No, of course, they don't want you to know that they killed a lot of people. Their doctors don't die trying to come up with cannabis curing cancer. Cancer is a, a $250 billion industry. They're not. They're not. They have a cure in cancer. They don't want you to know. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the pharmaceutical industry is just a sorcerer industry. Placing spells on you. Uh, cut, cut. It's, it's masking the symptoms from your demons. Physical illness is sin. Mental illness is demon possession or oppression. Depending on if you're saved, like I said, demon possessed. Cannot be of a saved person. It has to be unsaved. But demon oppressed can't be saved or unsaved. And manic depressant, all that, that's all demons. Of course, psychologists don't want you to know that. I doubt they even know, so they just suppress you by giving you medicine, not even talk it out. If you have any of these, you talk to a brethren. They're the ultimate doctor. Okay? Remember, I told you, brethren, they are your priests. Iron sharpens iron. Book of Proverbs. They are your priests. They'll do you, you talk to them, do you with demons, any sickness, any healing you have. Okay? Especially if they're anointed, then they got the power of healing. Praise God. So, these guys are not healing when they send that. They're just sending demons into you. Uh, like Chris uh, LaSalle says in his ministry, he's absolutely right. Uh, electrocution. Remember, your body's a walking conductor. In, in deep electricity of God, but like I said, the devil use God's mediums. That's how demons interest you. They electrocute you. When you feel God, it's it's a tingling because God's a consuming fire. You feel like you got electrocuted, demon possession, demon oppressed. Let's talk about movies again. Star Wars. What do they do with the when they're fighting the Jedi's and the Sith? The Sith have electrical power. When I told you God's will is providence, the doctrine of providence, the electrical power. The the Jedi, the their power. Well, they're both demonic, but I'm just saying uh, because. I believe in all that. We, we ESP, you know, Carrie, Stephen King. I believe in all that. They're demon possessed. People jumping. That's what all this X Men, these heroes movies about. They're they're like I said, Antichrist is a man, but it's also a system. These Avengers of Ultron, all these movies, these Marvel movies, they're your Antichrist. They're man becoming God. They're coming to save you. They're preparing us for the Antichrist system. Not preparing me because I won't be here. I'll be gone. Blessed hope. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. So, um, stay on point, stay on track here. The uh, Word of Faith movement, uh, they believe in all sorts of heresy. So I'm not, I can't believe it comes out of the mouth like, God can't interfere unless you let them. These are what they say against their own mouth. They say this coming out of their own mouth. That uh, God uh, needs permission for you to intercede in prayer. That's what they say. I'm not saying this. Look it up. Uh, they believe in uh, health and wealth, prosperity, gospel. Like I said, your God, the good life is now. Gods are not supposed to be sick. Gods are not supposed to be poor. Period. And it is the most blasphemy at all. I can't believe this. Uh, they believe in Jesus Christ. They believe he was a man. He became God when he died and was born again. He did it under his own power. Where anyone that knows the Bible that all God in all three forms raised him from the dead. God Father, God the Father raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Jesus Christ raised himself from the dead. The Holy Ghost raised him from the dead. But according to them, it, he did it all by himself without no help of the Father. He was a man. He became God through positive or they call it the spiritual death doctrine. Spiritual death doctrine. Look it up if you're wrong, believe me. So yeah, this new age movement, trash, emerging church. These, they're ushering you. They're the ushers. Just like you have an usher in the movie theater, and making sure you sit, you're comfy, and you watch the screen. What's, what's on the screen is Antichrist. They're ushers, ushering you to the Antichrist. It's Antichrist to me is a system and a man. I told you it was the final Pope of Rome, not a Middle Eastern, a Syrian, whatever, all that nonsense. Read your Bible literally like I do. You know, uh, the harlot, the uh, Harley, the whore is an evil church. It's built on seven hills like Rome. And the harlots are the the whore, the bastard children from the harlots. Rome has bastard religions. Hinduism, that's all Rome, Hinduism. They all have core Roman doctrine. Uh, the yin and yang, you really think that's Chinese? That's Roman. Again, relativism. All good and evil. Little good little. That's what the black and white is. That's what the checkerboard is. Uh, 
Masonic checkerboard. It, it means more things. It can be transportation, but Jacob and Boaz, that's right there, the two columns, that's that's man becoming God right there. You're, you're the third column combined. It's interesting with Jacob and Boaz, we have the store called B, BJ's. I wonder if that's what they stand for. There's another store, 7-Eleven. Could that be Daniel 7-Eleven about the Antichrist? There's people that say that. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying I agree, but you're, you're, you live in a cult world. This is what I want to get through. You live in a cult world. All these names, they all have some meaning. McDonald's, the symbolism. Every store you see, every store you go to, every every corporation, there's, name, there's something in their name. It always goes back to religious. Like I said, no no such thing as political, economic reason. It's all religion. You guys can make money out of thin air. Whether they care about economic, they rule the world. What does they care about political? They just want your soul. That's what they're missing. They get you with the religion, with the communism, socialism, which are all religions, Hinduism. They're all the same. They all work salvation, humanistic uh, religion. Humanism means your God. Man is God. You ever took humanities in college? That's a college course. Does you can't hide humanism to me is the world religion because work salvation. If you think your works in merit, salvation, you're God. You're merit. You know that you're meriting yourself to be God. Basically, you're God. So uh, these prosperity preachers think they're all God. These word of faith preachers think they're all God, and people follow them think they're all God. It's you know it's very easy to think you're God. Very easy. I'm talking about not doing it on purpose. I'm talking about ignorantly. I, I even thought like that once. You need to know the, the three roles of each parts of the Godhead. God the Father determines your destiny. Okay, I'm talking about what God does in your life role. He does your destiny. He tells you jump. You say how high. He tells you left. You better make that left. I'm talking about direction in life so forth. He judges your circumstances. He has a hand of protection. That's what he does. Jesus Christ, it's not what he's doing or is going to do. It's what he did. He ensures your salvation so you can obey your father. And all these connect. Okay, he's, He, through his blood, he saved you to break you from the will of sin so you can serve your father. Okay, you, you're Christ-like, but remember, God Father is still the boss. Jesus Christ served the will of the Father. You serve the will of Christ who serves the will of the Father. But we ultimately, everybody serves the will of the Father through Christ. And uh, Holy Ghost is the movement, is the actual, it's God in motion. Holy Ghost is God in action. It's very easily, but you don't know, the devil wants you to make you think you're God because he, at one point in my life, I was making my own circumstances. I want to do this, I want to do that. This is why I'm saved. I didn't know I was doing it. I want to do this, I want to do that. I was choosing my own destiny. I was trying to be God, and I didn't know it. I got, got to go to church. I didn't get better. Got to do this. Got to, this. We're doing good works in the flesh, but the Bible forbids. These are good works. These are not evil works. Good works in the flesh. When when you'll, you'll know when God wants you to, when God find, gives you a church, and uh, God will uh, give you a job, whatever. But no. I wanted to do everything for the flesh in my own will. So I was doing the work of Christ. Holy Ghost. Doing everything in the flesh, not the spirit. The Bible says you do everything of the spirit. Good works. The evil things are what you do in the flesh. Good, good or evil, it's still evil in the flesh, in God's eyes. Anything out of not a faith is sin. So you can uh, go donate to the poor and all that, but that's not what God tells you to do. If it's not what the Holy Ghost tells you by yielding to the Holy Ghost, like I said, you're on God's timetable. Okay. Okay, I hear I hear some preachers saying you got you got to go now in times in times in times. God can restrain the the devil as long as he want. Christ, if he wants, remember God knows when he's coming. Not even the angels know when Christ's coming. He can come. Remember, imminency means yeah, he can come tomorrow, but he can come in hundred years. That's imminency too. Any moment, as long as it's before the the tribulation period. Okay. I keep telling people God is not in time. He's beyond it. You can live to be a million years old. He'll wait. Okay? It's not really waiting because he's beyond time. Time is your curse. Time is the curse of sin. 
that's why there's no time in heaven or hell they're eternal okay time is your problem that we deal with okay you but God is don't God like I said he rules over everything he's omnipotent you go on his timetable okay his timetable God's timing his will is perfect yeah he might want it you do that but not at that time you ever thought of that maybe he did, just like me with this ministry I, like I said I was ready to go probably three four years he wasn't ready probably right I was still in sin doubting God doubting my salvation no now I'm firm rock hard it's not a coincidence remember it's not just a coincidence that I'm doing this now I'm doing this now because it's the end times you know, I don't hear no one preaching God's timing there I hear all these people get out go go now go. remember you're a soldier for Christ you're in boot when you first get saved you're in boot camp does he send people fast when they're ready God knows when you're ready to go out in the world that's why I'm just doing this ministry preaching on YouTube for now but trust me he'll know when it's okay Go out, son. This this soldier's fully trained. He's in boot camp. He's he gone to his uh spiritual disciplines exercise. He's ready to go. You're on God's side, team. Well, not your own. Not your own. There's times that you think you're ready, you're not, and the opposite. He knows it all. He has full knowledge. So God's time is very important. So yeah, all these uh all these helpers in the world. When I mean by helpers, doctors. Judges, judges are nothing more but priests of Baal. That's why they had the black robe. Now I told you black, men in black, Jesuits. Of course, this system is 100% Jesuitical. It's, un, it's Roman law. You know, you're under, you, you ever notice how the flag has yellow gold fringe? That means you're under military government, Jesuit order. It's not Illuminati, because I don't even hear the people that know Illuminati talk about, well, that's the Illuminati military. You know, this is Jesuit order, military government. March 9th, 1933, Franklin, Franklin uh, Delano Roosevelt, he consecrated this country. That's a religious term. That's what he said. That's not what I'm saying. That's his words. Consecrate. I cannot consecrate this nation. He made it a military government, which we are. There's no such thing as states no more. We're provinces. No states' rights. Subordinate to the Roma of the Potomac, Washington, D.C., the military arm of the Pope. Justice system is a joke. It's it's punishing good people. Most people are in prison for victimless crimes, tax evasion, victimless. There's no victim. Victim is the government. But like I said, the government is not of God. If it's satanic, don't throw that Roman 13 in my face. I will not obey it. I'll obey God's law. Just like King Davis, uh, that I don't even know if she was saved. It's it's kind of sad that uh, a woman would do something this way. Most of us men are cowards. But uh, you know, you heard about King Davis refused to marry those men the guy said on whose authority you do it she said God's authority send her to jail she got released right out God God take care of you okay God is do God take care of her yeah but there's uh, all these helpers people that's supposed to help you your government all of them are Satan that's what you have to know these prosperity preachers uh, your doctors you have to know they all say whether they know it or not they can be genuine trying to help you but these doctors don't, they, they just know, don't you know, they have $100,000 debt and they're going to do what they're told, which is give medicine. You know that? They're not going to try to heal you. Uh, medicine, uh, the American Murderers Association, Medical Association, I call it murderers. You know, 40,000 people die by iotrophic uh, symptom. You know what iotrophic is? Doctor related, medical. 40,000. That's, that's Vietnam right there, close to 50,000. I don't hear no one talking about that. But like I say, you're a true Christian, you don't take no medicine. Your doctor is God, the Holy Ghost, or the brethren. And you don't get illness, you don't get bipolar. You do, you got demon, oppress, possess, tell God to get that out of you. Uh, he can only get it, not out of you. You're saved, like I said, there's no demon in you, there's your sinful nature. I'm talking about oppress, get it away from you, clean you from your uh, illness. So... Uh, it's the last days, guys. This is the last call. This is really... The last call is really just seven-year tribulation, but trust me, you don't want to be in that last call. Get saved now. Read the Bible. Do what you got to do. Ask God, I want to believe. You can't believe. That's what people know. People say, I can't believe. No, that's doing it in your will. God gives you the faith to believe. Faith and repentance are gifts from God. You choose to believe. I want to believe. Most of these prosperity preachers, 
can't believe, don't want to believe, so they can't believe. I want it to believe. That you can do once. You can't. I, I want, I, I choose to believe. Like I said, you have some free will even though you're unsafe. Because if you say you don't have free will and save, how can you, how can you be uh, called? God can extend, remember, God will show compassion to who you shows compassion to. That's his uh, grace. So, uh, yeah, these prosperity preachers, all these preachers, they're ushers for the Antichrist. And let me talk about while well, I'm at it, talking about people think I'm talking about people that you think they are on your side, but they're not. Uh, these uh, Vatican Jesuit coadjutors, uh, Alex Jones, Jeff Rents, um, uh, Bill Deagle, uh, all these guys talking about the Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati. What are they doing? They, they're setting you up. Listen what they're doing. Mark Dice is another one. He's Illuminati, Illuminati. Yeah, he'll talk Jesuits for one minute. And that's it. Uh, he, by the way, they all all these guys are friends. Like I say, their fruits are the association. They are good friends with Alex Young, Mark Dice, Bill Deagle, Pat Buchanan, uh, Tex Mars. They're all good friends. What a coincidence. Um, uh, what are they doing? They're herding you like sheep. Because remember, Christians are sheep for the slaughter. That goes for everybody. We're all sheep for the slaughter. Okay? All of us. They're hurting you. They're saying, okay, look, these evil people, New World Order, the globalists, globalists. Like I say, Alex is all vague. He used the term globalist, globalist, globalist. I don't use, I name names. I might have to make another one naming names of everyone. But uh, I name names, okay? Uh, probably make another one about uh, people who you think are glorious and godly. That are burning in hell right now, just to show you how the devil is smart. Probably do that next. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're they're hurting you. Remember, problem, reaction, solution. We're gonna beg for the antichrist to come. I'm talking about unbelievers. They're gonna beg. That's how it works. It's like we beg the government to do something after 9/11. That's the dialectic. Problem, reaction, solution. Bring the problem. Towers came down. You gotta do something. See the reaction. Okay. Yeah, there's something. Go to war. That's that's how they're gonna do in World War Three when the private dog crash. You no, know, what are we gonna do for money? Hyperinflation. Go to score to war. World Three. Problem, reaction, solution. Let's go to war. Fight for the Pope. All these people think they're fighting for their country. They're fighting for their Pope. You say fight for your country or not? You're fighting for the Pope. Okay. At least admit you're fighting for corporations. At least admit that. Exxon Mobil and everything. But yeah, they are hurting you. They're, they're driving you to desperation, Alex Jones, because notice if they're really on your side, won't they seen, see Christ? Because really that's the only freedom. For all you Alex Jones supporters, all you supporters that really think he's doing, he's a good, nice guy, he's a good guy, well, then why didn't he tell you to believe on Christ and be saved and have some freedom? That's the only way you're going to escape this. But all, all the people saying the globalists, 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 they're inciting us to, to fight the new order. You can't fight physical, you can't fight spirits physically. Even righteously. Pro go ahead and protest all you want. Fight on a legal front. It's a spiritual war. You fight spirit with spirit. And that's the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. But no, he's for fighting it with physically. I, like I said, I was an avid listener of Alex Jones. He, he's for, for fight, fighting physically. Willpower. He's a prosper, He's a preacher. Alex Jones no different than Joel St. Oliver. Really not. Same thing. You can do it on your own. You do it on your own. And there's a problem. We react. And there's a solution. What's the solution? The Antichrist. He'll take care of you. They're hurting you, culling you. Sheep hurting. The sheep dogs, you're the sheep bitch. Right into the arms of the Antichrist. By design. That's for unbelievers. Believers should know better. Believers should know better. So, uh,. Yeah, all these, uh, all these, all these people. The only people that's the only one that's on your side is God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. That really in your brethren. But it's first, then it's first is triune God, then your brethren. Because yeah, just because they say, don't think the devil can't use them too. Do not think the devil can't use them. They have sinful flesh. You are gonna say, oh, I'm saved, but the devil can't use me, or or deceive me. Yes, he can. As long as you have that sinful flesh, you're compromised. That's compromising. Remember, Christians not supposed to compromise. Well. That he has to compromise because it's sinful flesh. What can he do? Unless God, until God takes him out of here, he's compromised. 
when you're dead, you're uncompromised. You're no longer imputed with righteousness. You are righteousness. Jesus Christ sees you. He's, he looks in your eyes. He sees himself, reflection of himself. Only the unblemished can go into the kingdom of God. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this is an end times for you all you believers. So, trust me, you don't want to go through God's last call. Go through the brethren telling you this is your last call. Because the, the seven year tribulation, there will be people saved. There will be tribulation saints, which well, is biblical. That's what it's now talking about. Endure to the end, you'll be saved. It's not talking about us. We're already saved. It's talking about the tribulation saints. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. That's on the tribulation. Do not take that mark. That's what he's saying. Don't take that mark. Take the mark. It is over. Get beheaded. Be it as nice, quick, quick, clean death. Take that beheaded and go to God. Cause I just proved you're not your body anyways, you're you're your spirit. Spirit can't die. Second first law, thermodynamics. Uh makes it utterly impossible, scientifically impossible. Energy cannot be destroyed. There is the afterlife. Quantum physicist has proven that beyond a doubt. So and there's a God, I already scientific proved that there's a God. So you you're without excuse, so to those people that watch this so not saved, God's saying don't don't hand me that. I sent manual to you to evangelize you. You choose to go to hell. I'm not sending you nowhere. You go to hell by default. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I come in peace, but when I speak, I mean uh, it's meant for war. And this is spiritual warfare. I mean, if people throw that name around, they downplay it, dilute it, just like Christian in love. It is a warfare. I, I just don't take it seriously. It's not much, but it is war. This is. This is us in the spirit fighting people in the spirit. Remember, you're not fighting. That's why the Bible says love your enemies. You're not fighting these people. You're fighting the demons behind them. Know that. You're supposed to love Alec Jones. You're supposed to love all these people I just say. Joel Osteen. Love your enemies that persecute you. Love. Okay? Hate the sin, not the sinner. It's the demons behind them. They, most of my demon possessed alter egos is demon possession. So it's it's their fault, but it, it's it's really the spirit. You fight spirit with spirit. You don't fight flesh with spirit, spirit with flesh. It's spirit on spirit. That's what spiritual warfare is all about. So you need your armor on. Book of Ephesians, your shield of faith, which is by God. How strong is that shield? It's up to you. It's how much you yield by it. Sword of the spirit. Every born again should memorize some biblical doctrine. You can't always go to your Bible. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, pray without ceasing. You're supposed to know that. Now I'm talking about verbatim, but you need to memorize scripture. That's your sword of your spirit. Your breastplate of righteousness, imputed righteousness from Christ. Your 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 boots, your loins, that's the gospel. You're supposed to remember. Go out in the world, which Amish does the opposite. They go out of the world, which they're in sin. You're supposed to live in the world, not be of it. There's people that don't even live in the world, they go in the caves far away. They're going straight to hell. So that's it. Uh, Lord bless and come quickly, Lord Jesus.